When you think of cyberpunk as a genre, what comes to mind? Is it neon lights, dilapidated cities, themes of humanity involving androids, maybe a whole bunch of cyber stuff? If you're thinking about the cyberpunk future as a cool time period to live in, I apologize but your perception of it has been tainted. The cyberpunk future is meant to be shitty. Capitalism reigns supreme, corporations are people, the police are even more corrupt than they are now if you can believe it, and the people are in danger in nearly every single way you can imagine. But to take the mind off of just how shit the future is, maybe you need a drink, like a hassy, or maybe something stronger. That's when you go down to the BTC bar in Glitch City, known only as Valhalla. Valhalla is something of an odd duck in the cyberpunk gaming genre. Unlike your deus exes or your snatchers, you're not someone fighting for a new future. You're not some kind of revolutionary using your abilities to right the wrongs in Neo-America. You're just a bartender, Jill Stingray. And all you gotta do is serve drinks and listen to the clients you receive. Sometimes they just want to shoot the shit. Sometimes you receive some serious news from someone who has their ears to the ground in high places. What makes Valhalla a much more special game than other cyberpunk games really boils down to the writing and characters. There is a world that opens up when you talk to more and more people who come in and you learn about many different things like the military police force, a hacker entity, android idols, gene spliced cat people, and worst of all, people cosplaying yeek unironically. In the end, it's not a story about Glitch City, Neo America, or even the world. It's a story about Jill. It's a story about Gillian. It's a story about Dana, Dorothy, Alma. It's a story not about the future, but the people in it, and how even when the world is shit, you can always count on friends to make your time there a little bit better. Say his best girl.